VDB Essentials Prep and Animate has what you need for working with VDB animations. We have content, we have a new shader, and a wizard for making it easy to set it all up. Let's check it out. The shader can be applied to any object with the surface name volume, uh, but to make it faster to show, I'll just run the wizard since it creates the object, applies the shader, and selects the VDB files all in one step. When you run the wizard, you get to decide what type of VDB file you're loading, a single frame or an animation. Since this is all about animation, I'll just stick with the default. But if you do a single frame, it will use the VDB volume shader that comes with Test Studio. It won't have the animation features, but I liked the convenience for quick setup and added that as an option. Now with animation, it applies the new shader preset that is included with this product. And then all we need to do is browse to a VDB file. Uh, pick a file from a folder of VDBs that end in underscore and a number. I'll also have this adjust the timeline to the animation length and then hit accept. VDBs only work in iRay, so to see what it looks like, either render or turn on the iRay draw style. This VDB is chimney smoke and you can kind of see it, but let's increase the density just a little bit to make it more obvious. If we hit play, we'll see that the VDB animation is synced to the timeline. If you're just doing a still image, you could navigate through the timeline and find the frame you like best. Or if you're rendering animation, it's as simple as rendering out an image sequence or a video. It automatically swaps in the correct VDBs for every frame as it renders, making it super easy. This animated VDB shader is built on top of the volume shader that ships with Daz Studio, so it'll look very familiar, but there are a few additions that we put in. We show the total number of frames in the volume file label. Sometimes you don't remember how many frames are there, this makes it super easy to find. We also added SSS direction, uh, which determines whether the surface scatters toward or backwards from the light. We added three animation controls. They're blue and they're down towards the bottom. We have your offset, which determines when to start the animation. Setting this to 50 means the VDB won't begin playing until you hit frame 50. Now we have loop. Uh, just by default, VDB animations are set to play through once, but sometimes they work as a loop, so you can enable this option. And then reverse can be helpful for getting some variety because sometimes an animation sequence can play backwards and still look fine. Of course, any of these settings can be mixed and matched together. Okay, so that's how you set up animated VDB content. It's super easy. Now let's check out some of the content that comes with the product. You'll see a, a variety pack of sorts with 10 high quality effects options. These are all set up and ready to go. And the thumbnails contain some useful information, such as a total frame count and whether they are loopable or not. We'll go ahead and load one of these to check it out. You can see as we scrub through the timeline, it's animating, all automatic. Very cool, realistic flame and smoke effect. Let's have some fun and combine one of these effects with other Daz Studio content. I think it would be fun to put our candle flame on a candle. So let's go ahead and load this candle in and put it on there. Little bright environment. Let's go ahead and tone that down a bit and it'll be easier to see the flame effect. This has a cool bit of glow going on with the wicks, but let's add a little flame. All right, we've loaded in our candle flame. Let's go ahead and position this. All right, good position, but a little big, so we can scale it down. All right, that's looking good to me. Since we have two candles, let's load a different flame just for fun. Let's go with a big torch. It's way too big, but that's okay. We can adjust it.
and now we have two different kinds of effects going on with the candles. We have a good variety of effects in this product, and they can add a lot to your scenes. And more animated VDBs will be coming, so watch for those. We hope you enjoy VDB Essentials Prep and Animate.